you have to tell like if you require classes or not and if you are able to understand from the recording so it's all up to you as you feel like okay 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 uh, right hamna can you hear me now okay so let us start with trigonometry uh, let me just check yeah hamna is actually trying to join anyway so trigonometry right this is a very important chapter so this will uh, like you will be using trigonometry even in your masters even after masters if you are going into higher studies okay if in in physics also obviously in maths but in physics also you will be using a lot of trigonometry so this is one of the like it's very important chapter okay so first of all what is trigonometry so as there are various branches of mathematics like we have algebra uh, we have um, you know calculus and etc geometry so trigonometry is one of the branch of mathematics where we actually deal uh, between the relationship we deal with the relationship between uh, sides and angles of a right angled triangle hamna are you able to hear me now yes ma'am okay so trigonometry is that branch of mathematics where we will be studying the relationship between sides and angles okay so please note sides and angles and another thing right angled triangle so this is not for every triangle only in the case of right angled triangle understood okay so to start it uh, first of all now understand about a right angled triangle this is how it looks like right so from now onwards we will be naming uh, the side which is opposite to this angle this is your 90 degree angle here if i just call it abc understood okay so this side is the hypotenuse you you are familiar with this so right hi okay and this side is the base where sorry there is some angle theta like you have to take one angle here which i am calling theta so the angle uh, whose one line is this side of the triangle so this this side of the triangle will be called base and the side of the triangle which is opposite to this this angle will be called perpendicular right so please make this figure in your copy okay done yeah have you drawn please unmute your mic all of you yes ma'am okay now try to understand one more thing if i take the same uh, right angle triangle okay this one is your 90 degree angle and i take my theta here this one all right so this uh, if in this case the hypotenuse will remain same obviously the longest side of the triangle this is hypotenuse and this side will be called base now because you know it is making the angle theta and the side which is opposite will be called perpendicular this time so like you have to write it carefully understood so you have to first see where the angle theta is got it okay now first thing we will be studying about uh, are called trigonometric ratios so you note down all these things then we will revise them again okay so there are many trigonometric ratios one is called sin or i am writing the full name this is sin theta got it we take sin of this theta then there is cosine of this theta uh, then we have tangent theta uh, then cosine theta and the next is 
secant theta and cotangent right now in short there are some short names for all of them so that you don't have to remember these tough terms so this is simply called sin theta right this is called cos theta this is called tan theta this is uh, oh sorry not this is cosine what i have written cosecant i'm sorry so just a minute this one i wrote wrong this is cosecant cosecant okay so this is called cosec theta and this one is sac theta and this one is called cot theta in short this is the abbreviated version correct Yes. So, okay, so first of all, just be familiar with these names. Now, what are sine, what is cosine, what is tangent? So, uh, you don't have to study this in the, in the present class. Uh, like, it will keep on evo in evolving in the higher classes. But right now, at least remember uh, the ratios, right? Cos, sine, tan, cosec, sec, cot. Okay. Now, what is the relationship between this? Now, you see this theta is angle, right? So, we will relate this angle with the side of the triangle now. Understood? So cosine is, these are important formulas, you have to write them. So this is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Now this cos theta is base upon hypotenuse. Now this tan theta is perpendicular upon base. So I'm writing like this, okay, to save space here. Now, cosec theta is, the so cosec theta is opposite of sine theta. So it will be hypotenuse upon perpendicular. Okay, now this, uh, sac theta is opposite of cosine theta. So this one will be hypotenuse upon base. And cot theta is opposite of tan theta. So this will be, uh, sorry, base upon perpendicular. Please write them down. Done, ma'am. Okay, done with the Hamna? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, now, it's so difficult to remember them, right? How will you remember if I ask you what is cosecant theta? So it's difficult to remember, right? Hypotenuse upon perpendicular. So this is, there is a trick, okay? It, it is not in your book, but it's a trick to remember. So remember it like this. Uh, let's say, if I write parents, baby, Priya is, is okay, is I'm not writing, parents, baby, Priya is happy, happy, baby, correct? So I think it will be easier to remember now, right? Parents, baby, Priya is happy, happy, baby. So please remember it. Now how to uh, like connect it. So you write sine theta here, and then this is cos theta, and this is tan theta. So three are enough, okay? And before this, you should know, you write it down, that sine theta is one upon cosec theta, right? So they are opposite of each other. Then your cos theta is one upon sac, sac theta. And then your uh, tan theta is one upon cot theta. So if you know the value of these three, so other three, you can write it down, isn't it? Just reciprocal. Right, Amna? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So you remember this thing. Now you write it in short. Uh, no need to write the full uh, parents, baby, Priya, happy, happy, baby. So from the next time, you write it like this. Sine theta, cos theta, and tan theta. So parents, baby, Priya, 
is happy happy baby understood you know the full form now got it yes sir okay so from now you can write it very easily so this ratio perpendicular upon hypotenuse is actually your sin theta base upon hypotenuse is cos theta and perpendicular upon base is your tan theta and if you know these things you can find the other three correct or you can write it down here also cosec theta then cos opposite is sec theta and tan opposite is cot theta so if you read this way so cot theta will be base upon perpendicular right yes yes ma'am okay sec theta will be hypotenuse upon base and cosec theta will be hypotenuse upon perpendicular and if you read like this so sin theta is perpendicular by hypotenuse cos theta base by hypotenuse tan theta is perpendicular by base understood yes ma'am okay so please uh, like make this in your copy and please also write this thing so it will help you to remember it so it's always good to make a sentence and in that way remember it otherwise you can make mistakes I'm done. Done. So in this exercise, this much you know. And one more thing you you need to know is, for example, we have sine theta whole square, right? So it is written like this: sine square theta. Understood? They mean the same thing. Got it? Right. So sine square theta doesn't mean that sine into sine then theta. Got it? Sine yes. square theta means you are multiplying sine theta into sine theta. So this should be clear. Okay, because these are not variables. It's sine of theta, and you are taking it twice. Sine, sine into sine. Uh, all right. So let's move to the exercise now. We will be uh, applying all this in the exercise. First question. See all of you in your book. So in triangle ABC. Now first question. In triangle ABC, right angled at B. So you make a triangle. Uh, Okay, so it is right angled at B, right? So other sides I can write A and C. This one is the right angle. Uh, AB is 24 centimeter, right? And BC is 7 centimeter. So determine sine A cos A, right? Sine A and cos A you have to find. A means this angle he is taking, correct? So if, if you write theta here, so you can write it sine theta also. And if you are not writing anything, you can simply call, call it sine A, understood? A means this one angle you are taking, right? Uh, so first thing will be to find all the three sides, first of all, and then we will be coming to ratio. Now, can we use Pythagoras theorem here because it's a right angle triangle? Yes, ma'am. No. Okay, so in triangle ABC, we know that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Yes. Pythagoras theorem. So AC square will be how much? AB square 24 whole square and plus 7 whole square. So tell me how much is 24 square? 576. 576. Okay. Plus 49. So AC square will be how much? 6 and 9 is 15. Then 7 and 4 is 11 and 1, 12. 625, right? So therefore, AC will be square root of 625. So this will be 25 centimeters. It's a perfect square, right? 625. Yes, Rida? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So we have found the third side also, which is 25 centimeters now. Now we come to ratios. So sine theta, if you remember, like sine A is perpendicular. By hypotenuse. By hypotenuse, right. So what is the perpendicular in this case? If this is the angle, so which is perpendicular? Which side of the triangle is perpendicular? BC. BC, very good. So BC upon AC. So this is 7 centimeter and this is 25 centimeter. So centimeter, centimeter gone. 7 by 25 is the sine ratio. Understood? 
obviously it's a ratio there will be no units now similarly write cos a tell me how much is cos a sorry this was a not theta so cos is base it's upon hypotenuse hypotenuse yes so what is the base here hamna which side is base here हम ना मैम ए बी ए बी राइट एंड हाइपोटानोस ए सी बी सी राइट नो ए सी सॉरी यस यू आर राइट सॉरी ए सी सो ए बी इज ट्वेंटी फोर सेंटीमीटर एंड ए सी इज ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर सो दे कैन नॉट बी डिवाइडेड ट्वेंटी फोर बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव इज द कोसाइन ए right yes okay now next uh, second part so this was your first part now second part you have to find sin c and cosine c cos c so if i take sin of c so again this is perpendicular upon hypotenuse what is the perpendicular this time if i am taking this angle who will tell me Rida, you tell me what is the perpendicular this time? AB. AB, yes. And what is the hypotenuse? AC. That is same. So write find the value of sine C, and then cos of C. Yes, Hamna. How much is base now? What is the base now? Yeah, you are taking this angle, right? So this is one of the leg. Isn't it this side? The angle is being made with this, correct, Hamna? So BC will be the base, right? And AC. So you can find. Yes, Myra, are you in the class now? Yes, ma'am. Myra, please try to join on time because you know you missed the very important uh, part of the lecture. So it will be difficult to understand, right? Yes, ma'am. so i'm doing one thing just uh, okay take a picture of this screen first of all then you can write it down later in your copy please take a picture okay okay and next also yeah okay okay right written all of you how much is sin c yes harsha what is the ratio sin c on 24 by 25 okay 25 right hamna what is cos c hamna okay rida how much is cos c quickly 7 by 25 7 by 25 okay now next okay second question so myra now i'll i'll explain to you just try to understand here in the given figure uh figure is given and p q and r right this one is 90 degree angle so in given figure find tan p Minus of cot R, right? Yes, so how will you do? Now two sides are given. This is twelve centimeter and this is thirteen centimeter. So Harsha and Rida, you will do it yourself. Uh, I'm just giving you time. First of all, find the third side of the triangle by Pythagoras theorem, right? Then find tan P and cot R. So let me see if you can apply the formula. Yes. Okay, Myra. Yes, ma'am. Okay, now till they are doing the question, so just a quick revision for you. So, Myra, I have started the chapter called trigonometry, right? 
Yes. Okay. So trigonometry is basically one of the branch of mathematics where we actually read about the relationship between. I have written if you can see in the picture. So relationship between sides and angles. Yes, ma'am. Of a right angled triangle. So this is important. So this is not for every triangle, but only for a right angled triangle. Uh, so there are uh, some ratio which is called sine, right? Cos, then tan, and this. Uh, then you have cosec and sec and cot. So okay, if you are taking a triangle like this, Myra, first of all, see here. If this is ninety degree angle, right? This is ninety degree. This is a right angle triangle. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So this side, which is the vertical side, this is called perpendicular, right? Yes. Like for example, I'm I'm taking an angle here, which is called theta. Understood? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the one leg of this angle, like this is one of the leg of this angle. So this side of the triangle will be called base, and the opposite side will be called perpendicular. And you know this is called hypotenuse, right? This okay. you know in a right angle triangle, the longest side is called hypotenuse. This is base. This is perpendicular. Correct. Mm -hmm. Now, so these are sides: base, perpendicular, and hypotenuse. And this this is angle theta. So you are establishing a relationship between angle and sides. So your sine of theta is. Perpendicular, as I have written in the picture, it is perpendicular upon hypotenuse, right? So cos is base by hypotenuse, tan is perpendicular by base. Then cosec is actually inverse of sine, which is hypotenuse by perpendicular. Sec will be uh, inverse of cosec, which is high h upon b, and cot will be b by p, inverse of tan. Now, how to remember them? It's so difficult to remember like this. Okay, so I have given a trick. Uh, just keep this sentence in your mind that parents, baby, Priya, right? Parents, baby, Priya is happy, happy baby. So this is just a trick to remember. Yeah. So parents, baby, Priya is happy, happy baby. Now, if I write this in short, so parents, baby, Priya is happy, happy baby, right? Okay, just short. So right here, sine theta, right here, cos theta, and right here, tan theta. So these three are enough to remember because I forgot to write that sine theta is actually one inverse of cosec theta. So if you know sine, you can find cosec, isn't it? Okay. Then cos theta is one upon sec theta, inverse of sec. And tan theta is one by cot theta. So this is inverse of cot. So these three are enough to know the other three you can find just inverse them right okay okay now come here so, so sine uh, cos and tan right now this ratio perpendicular by hypotenuse is sine theta base by hypotenuse is cos theta and perpendicular by base is tan theta so this is the way to remember it parents baby priya is happy happy baby and you write sine cos tan so whenever you get a question uh, like this, so first of all, in a corner, you can write this thing quickly. Sine theta, cos theta, tan theta, parents, baby, Priya is happy, happy baby, and then start with the question. Understood? Yes, ma'am. To avoid mistakes. This is for everybody. So this is what we are doing now, correct? And just try to understand one more thing, uh, Myra, just the last one. Yes, Harsha, have you done the question? No, at the oh, okay. Last one. okay, okay. So Myra, just try to understand one thing. If in the same triangle, this was your 90 degree angle. And so this is always hypotenuse, correct? The longest side. But if I'm not taking theta here, I'm taking this angle to be my theta, understood? This is ABC and this is also ABC. So earlier I was taking angle C to be my theta. Now I'm taking angle A to be my theta. Got it, Myra? Please unmute your mic. Yeah, Myra, please unmute your mic. See, it's okay if some noise is coming, just don't worry about it. Okay, Myra, so this time, 
this side is you know one of the leg of this angle so this side will become your base and the side which is opposite to the angle will become your perpendicular understood that's it so this much you need to know for this exercise okay yeah rida have you done the question mom done yes ma'am okay good yeah mayra i can't hear you anyway you can take a picture if you wish then i'm coming to second question now so you will learn how to use it yes tell me the answer oh, how much is tan p first of all i'm 5 by 12 uh 5 by 12 okay rida yours 5 by 12 okay how much is cot r 5 by 12 and harsha yours also same ma'am okay so answer will be zero tan p minus cot r yes ma'am okay right yes myra if sin a is 3 by 4 calculate cos a and tan a okay so first of all you know make a triangle any right angle triangle uh let me call it abc right i mean abc is not required but it's okay you can give a name so sign okay sign a because it's written so you have to give name otherwise it's actually my habit is to always call theta theta so anyway this is abc right now sign a that means this angle he is talking about is 3 by 4 now you know that sign is what sign a is perpendicular by hypotenuse right so if this is 3 by 4 correct yes ma'am 3 by 4 okay so how much is the length of perpendicular now bc three okay and uh, hypotenuse four okay so here is the mistake okay because this is ratio this is not the exact measurement of side correct 3x yes so side can be 12 by 16 let's say rida you don't know if you just bring it to the lowest form you will get 3 by 4 right yes yeah so you don't know the exact measurement but you know the ratio so if ratio is given we take it like this so uh, you can call it uh, okay this 3 by 4 is what perpendicular that means bc and hypotenuse that means ac right so let bc be 3 of x and ac be 4 of x understood this way you will take the sides okay so the first thing is to find the value of ab so again use the pythagoras theorem so ac square is equal to ab square plus bc whole square now ac square is 4x whole square and ab you have to find ab whole square plus bc is how much 3x whole square right so 4x whole square sorry okay just expand it so 16x square and minus of 9x square is your ab whole square so this is how much 7x square right is ab uh, whole square so that means square root of 7x square is your ab and then root 7x is your ab got it yes ma'am so ab length you have got yes myra can you hear me now yes ma'am okay so i'm on the third question so please be in the class if you are not able to understand right now you will do one or two question with me so you will start understanding okay yes ma'am you lost the connection in between Yes. right uh okay so ab we have got right okay now you have to find cos of a and tan of a right so right what is cos of a base upon hypotenuse right right see parents baby priya happy happy baby so this was cos right base by hypotenuse base means ab 
and divided by AC. Now AB we have found out under root of 7x and AC is 4x. So X and X will get cancelled out. So cos A is under root 7 by 4. Right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now find quickly how much is tan A. I'm sorry, I've written B here. This is B. So this is perpendicular by base. That means AC divided by AB. So you will get 4x divided by under root 7x. So 4 by root 7. Yes, Rida? No, I have done some mistake. Oh, sorry, perpendicular. I've written AC. This was BC. Yep. So BC was uh, 3x and AB was root 7x. So this will be 3 by under root 7, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, next. So Myra, now see here, this is again same type of question. So if you will understand this one, you will be able to do the third one. Okay. Now it, it is given that 15 of cot A is equal to 8, right? And then you have to find sine of A and sac of A. Okay. See, once you know all the three sides of the triangle, you can find any ratio. You just have to remember the formula, the relationship. That's it. Uh, okay. Now this is given that 15 of cot A is equal to 8. So you can write cot of A is equal to 8 by 15. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So make a figure first of all. Okay. A, so A means at the corner you have to take your A. So A, B and C. So if I, he is taking like this angle he is talking about, cot A. Right. Uh, so, uh, Myra, whenever you have a ratio, right? So you cannot uh, see what is cot A according to that. Uh, parents, baby, Priya is happy, happy, baby. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So this was uh, sign, this was cos, and this was tan. So I have told you cot is reciprocal of tan. So cot A is actually your base upon hyper perpendicular. Yes? Okay. So base upon perpendicular means if this is the angle, this is the leg of the angle. So base will be AB and perpendicular will be BC. Correct? In the figure? Yes. Yes. Now this is given to be 8 by 15. So this is the ratio which is given to you. Right, Myra? So you cannot write that AB is equal to 8 and BC is equal to 15. This is wrong. This is ratio. When ratio is given, so you write like this. So let AB is 8 of something x and BC is 15 of the same number x. Understood? Yes, ma'am. So this way you have to take your sides. Now, the first thing is the so two sides you know, right? AB, you know, 8x. Now, BC, you know, 15x. So first job is to find the third side of the triangle, which you can easily find using Pythagoras theorem because this is a right angle triangle. Okay? Yes. So right in triangle ABC. So you know that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. This is Pythagoras theorem, right? Hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square. And you have to find AC square. So AB is 8X whole square. BC is 15X whole square. So this is uh, 64X square. How much is 15? 225, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so if you add them, how much you get? So five and four is nine, then six and two is eight and 289 X square. So this is AC square. So you want to find AC to take square root of 289 X square. So is it a perfect square, 289? I think 17 whole square, right? 17, 17 into 17 is 289, right? Yes. Ma yeah. So you will get 17 and X square will become X, sorry, X. So AC will be 17 of X, right? 
So you have got the third side also, which is 17 of X. Now this becomes very simple. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now find out what, whatever you have to find. Uh, you have to find sine of A and sac of A. Okay. So what is sine of A here? Now Myra, Hamna, see again, this is sine, right? So sine means perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So you write perpendicular upon hypotenuse, clear? Now perpendicular is which side, Myra? If I'm taking this angle A, which side is the perpendicular now? BC. BC, good. And hypotenuse is? Uh, AC. AC, right? So find, write the value. So BC is 15 of X and By A is 17. Yes, AC is 17 of X. So X, X will get canceled out. So 15 by 17, right? Yes, Same way you can find SAC A. So let us do SAC A. Now SAC is, as I told you, inverse of COSAC, right? So you will read this way. So it will be hypotenuse upon base. Understood everyone? Hamna? See, this is the most important thing in the exercise. You have to remember this thing. Then only you will be able to do questions. Otherwise, you will be stuck. Yes, Amna. Okay. Now, hypotenuse is again AC and base is AB. So put the values. AC is 17X. AB is 8X. So you get 17 divided by 8. Yes, Rida? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So trigonometry is uh, not very tough, but the only requirement is uh, you have to memorize a few things, right? Sorry, my screen is very messed up. I, I'll just try to organize myself. I write anywhere on the screen. Yeah, Myra, are you able to understand now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So you will pick up, don't worry. Just one or two questions more, you will pick up. Right, next question. Fifth one. Now, this time it is given that sac theta. So one of the ratio will be given, right? The similar kind of question. This is 13 by 12, right? Calculate all other trigonometric ratio. Now everybody will do it right here. I'm just helping you out. Uh, you make a triangle, first of all, right angle triangle. Yes, Hamna, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so ABC, right? Sac theta he is talking about. So take any angle theta. Let me take this one theta, correct? Okay, so you can start from here that sac theta is, first of all, right? What is sac theta? So you write parents, baby, Priya, is happy, happy baby, correct? So this one is sac, inverse of cause. So you need to know these things, inverse relationship and obviously the side relationship. So sac is hypotenuse upon base, correct? Right? So hypotenuse will be AB this time and base will be BC. Now I don't know the value of AB and BC. So the first thing will be to find the value of the sides, right? Um, hypotenuse AC, right? Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. AC by uh, BC, yes. Um, so AC by BC is given to you, which is 13 by 12. Yes, Myra, Hamna, Rida? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So here, from here, we can write. So this implies that AC is 13 times of something K and BC is 12 times of some variable, same variable K. Understood? So AC is 13K and BC is 12K. So first of all, find out how much is AB. All of you find it out and tell me how much is AB. from Pythagoras theorem.
Yes, how much is AB? 5K. 5K. Is everybody getting 5K? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, feel free to ask questions. Don't feel shy, okay? If you are stuck somewhere, so feel free to say. 5K, right. So I've got the third side also, which is 5K. Now you have to find all the trigonometric ratios. I mean the other five, right? So it's simple now. So write sine of theta, which is perpendicular by hypotenuse. So perpendicular is AB and hypotenuse is AC. So put the value 5K divided by AC is 13 of K. So this is five by 13. And similarly find cos theta. Start finding all of you tan theta, cosac theta. Now sac is already given, so cot theta. Yes, Myra, what is the ratio for cos theta? Trigonometric ratio? No, not the answer. I mean, this way, the formula, right? For cos theta, tell me. P by F. Sorry, say the full form. Base by hypotenuse. Okay, base by hypotenuse. Good. What is tan, th tan theta? Tell me. And theta is uh, be, uh, base by perpendicular? No, no, no. See, parents, baby, Priya, right? Is happy, happy, baby. Remember this sentence also. So this is sine, this is cos, and this is tan. So tan will be this way, perpendicular upon base. You have to be very correct with this thing, correct? Otherwise, the question will get wrong. Okay, what is cosac theta? Cosac theta is one by sine. Yeah, one by sine. That means opposite, right? So this yes. way. If you read it this way, so hypotenuse upon perpendicular, correct? Yes. Okay, what is cot theta? Cot theta one by tan. One by tan. So this will be read this way. I mean. So this will be base upon perpendicular, right? Mm -hmm. So now find all of them. It's easy now. Done, ma'am. Okay, Rida, have you done? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Hamna, have you done? Yes, ma'am. All right. Myra, have you done? No, I'm doing it. Okay. Okay, Myra, you can just complete the question. So you can complete it afterwards. I hope you have understood now, right? Yes, ma'am. Come to question number six. Now, if angle A and angle B are acute angles such that cos A is equal to cos B, then show that angle A is equal to angle B. All right. So first of all, make a triangle, a right angle triangle. And uh, so angle A and B are acute angles. So that means uh, you have to take A and B here. Understood? Then C will be the right angle triangle. Got it? Yes. Okay. So A and B are acute angles. Uh, so if A and B are, see the trigonometry is applied to a right angle triangle, correct? And in this particular triangle, angle A and B are acute. So that means angle C will be 90 degree, correct? Yes. Okay. So since angle A and angle B are acute angles. So, uh, therefore, angle C is equal to 90 degree, right? Now, something is given that cos of A is equal to cos of B, okay? So, this angle, okay, cos of A and B, different angles they are taking. Right, 
Now, if I want to write cos of A, what is the formula for cos? Tell me. B by H. B by H, base upon hypotenuse. Understood? Right. And again, cos B is also base by hypotenuse. So you can do one thing. You can just write it separately somewhere. Like in your uh, mind, you know, it is base by hypotenuse, correct? Now, when you are taking this angle, so what will be the base this time? Which side will be the base? AC. AC, yes. And hypotenuse, AB. Okay. Now, Myra, you tell me, if I'm taking this angle B, what is the base this time? AC. Sorry, repeat. AC. No, no. This angle. I mean, so you have to take the leg of this angle, correct? Yes. So BC, correct? Okay. Yeah. Base is always the one leg which is forming the angle. So this side of the triangle you have to take. Please remember this thing. So base will be BC. And AC is the opposite side. This will be your perpendicular. And hypotenuse is again AB. Uh, so I think AB, AB itself get cancelled out from here, correct? So you have got AC is equal to BC. Now in this triangle, if AC is equal to BC, that means angle A is equal to angle B. Isn't it? Yes. Angles opposite to, you can write angles. You have to write obviously angles opposite to equal sides are equal. Yes, Hamna, got it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so this was easy question. Uh, let's come to question number eight now, seven. Okay. Now, cot theta is given this time. So, cot of theta is seven divided by eight. Okay, then evaluate. Now, see, first of all, what you have to evaluate this thing, that one plus sine theta into one minus of sine theta and divided by uh, one plus cos theta into one minus of cos theta. This you have to find. And in the second part, obviously there is cot square theta. So the first thing will be, if you know cot theta is given. So from this information, we will first of all find out how much is sine theta, how much is cos theta and how much is cot theta. And then we will putting the values here and we will be finding out this relationship. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we will do it this way. Okay, so make a triangle ABC. Right, uh, let me make a triangle ABC. So A, B, C and take some angle theta here. Okay, hmm. now cot of theta is given. So what is the relationship between theta and sides now? Cot, what is the formula? Base by perpendicular. Okay. Yes, Myra, what is the formula for cot? Cot. Cot. See, again, parents, baby, Priya is happy, happy, baby. Correct? Remember this sentence? Yes. Now see again, this is sine, this is cos, this is tan, right? Yes. Now you know cot is inverse of tan, so cot will come here. Sac is inverse of cos, so it will come here. Cosac is inverse of sine, it will come here, right? So if you want to know cot, so read it this way. So this will be base upon perpendicular. Understood how to use it? Yes. Yes, Hamna, understood? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, base, that means, which side is base now? BC. BC, yes, because this is one of the leg of this angle, this one. So BC divided by perpendicular is the opposite side, which is AB. Now, this ratio is given, which is 7 by 8. So what does it imply? It implies that BC is 7 of X and AB is 8 of X. So BC is 7X, AB is 8 of X. So first thing is to find AC using Pythagoras theorem. So AC square is 
AB square plus BC square. So this will be 8x whole square plus 7x whole square. So 64x square plus 49x square. So this is 9 plus 4 is 13, then 6 plus 10 and 1 11, 113x square. Am I right? I'm getting this right. So AC will become under root 113 and X will come out, right? So I've got this thing, 113 X, this much is AC, right? So I've got all the three sides of this triangle now. So now what, what do I need? I need sine, I need a uh, cos and I need cot. So I'll find it out first of all. How much is sine of theta now? What is the formula, Hamna? Ma'am, uh, perpendicular by hypotenuse. Okay, good. Perpendicular is how much? Which side? Yes, in this triangle, which side is perpendicular? AB or BC? Ma'am, AB. AB. And hypotenuse? AC. AC, good. Now put the values. So AB is 8 of X. AC is 113 of X. So this is 8 upon under root 113, right? Okay. Then find cos of theta. Yes, Rida, what is the formula? Base by hypotenuse. Okay. What is the base in this figure? Which side is the base? See, the side which is connecting with this angle is the base, right? BC. BC, yes. Base means with which side the angle is being formed. That is called the base, right? Yes. Okay. BC upon AC. Now, BC is 7x. AC is again 113x. So, this is 7 by 113. Correct? Yes, okay. So, let us do the first part. We will find cot theta afterwards. So first part is this. 1 plus sine theta into 1 minus of sine theta and divided by 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus of cos theta. Right? I can do one thing here. Uh, can I convert it into this formula a square minus b square? 1 a plus b and a minus b. Do you remember this formula, all of you? This identity that a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a, a minus b. Yes? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Myra. Do you remember this identity? So anyway, I'm using this identity now. So because I can see 1 plus sine theta and 1 minus sine theta. So a square minus of b square. Correct? Similarly, in the denominator, 1 plus cos, 1 minus cos. So 1 square minus of cos square. Yes, Rida, got it? Hmm. Now it can be done. Oh. Okay, we will be directly putting values here. See, after doing, I think, third exercise, uh, you will find it easier. But right now, I will be directly putting up values and solving it, okay? Because you have not learned the identity so far. So this is 1 minus. Now, how much is sine theta? This is 8 upon under root 113 whole square, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I think I need some space. Uh, let's do it on the next slide. So this is 1 minus sine square theta and divided by 1 minus cos square theta. Yes. So Myra, please note it down that sine theta whole square is same as sine square theta, right? Both are same things. Keep this in mind. You can write it down somewhere. Now put the value. So 1 minus how much is sine theta? 8 by 113, cos is 7 by 113, okay. So this is 8 upon under root 113 whole square. 
and this is one minus seven upon under root one one three whole square. So have I put the correct values? Yes, ma'am. All right. So this is one minus. So this is sixty four by one one three, right? And this is one minus forty nine by one one three. Now take LCM in the numerator. So one one three, then one one three minus of sixty four. And divided by one one three minus of forty nine divided by one one three, so uh, both the uh, denominators will get cancelled out, right? Okay, tell me how much is one one three minus sixty four? So this will be thirteen minus four will be nine, then zero. That means ten minus six is four. So I'm getting forty nine divided by one one three and sixty four divided by one one three. Right. One one three minus sixty four is forty nine. So obviously one one three minus forty nine will be sixty four. So how you solve it? If in case if someone don't remember, so the outer terms are multiplied together and the inner terms are multiplied together. So this will be forty nine into one one three and divided by this will be sixty four into one one three. Right. So one one three will get cancelled out. So forty nine by sixty four. Uh, is the first uh, and first part answer correct? Please do the calculations on your own. Don't copy, and if you get stuck, then see it on the screen. Please solve it yourself. Ma'am, can you explain the third step again? This one. Ma'am, the next step. Okay, next step. Yes. So see here, this is step all of you. If someone is having problem, so in the numerator, I'm having one minus sixty four divided by one one three. Correct. So I'm solving the numerator. So take LCM one one three, right? Because I have one here, right? So in one, this one one three will be multiplied one one three times, and then into one, correct? Minus. Now this will be multiplied one time into sixty four, right? Is this clear, Rida? Yes, Myra, Hamna, any problem? Anybody? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay, good. So this is one one three minus. Sorry, one one three minus sixty four divided by one one three. So that way I've written, right? And similarly in the denominator. So whenever you have, you know, one minus something divided by, let's say, I have eighty-seven. So in the next step, you will getting eighty-seven minus one divided by eighty-seven. So when you will be habitual with the calculation, so you can easily do it. So that is why I'm saying do the calculations on your own so that you can know where you are not able to understand, right? Okay, do the next part. Those who have done it, find out cot theta first of all. Yes, Hamna. What is the value of cot theta? How much is the value of cot theta? Numerical Ma value. Hmm. Seven by eight. Seven by eight. Okay, Myra, are you getting it? Yes, ma'am. 
okay then in the second part you have to find cot square theta right this is given so cot square theta as i told you is same as cot theta whole square so this will be 7 by 8 whole square and this will be 49 by 64 so that's the answer Mom, same the answer already gave this value so we'll only use that value right oh it was already given yeah yeah okay sorry yeah in case it was not given so you can find it out because now you know all the three sides of the triangle right yes okay so if it was it was not cot theta it was cosac theta or something so then you can write the value first and then square of it all right so the class is over for today now question number 8 is uh anyway you can give it a try okay Okay. Same way you will find the third side of the triangle. So this is three cot A is equal to four. So that means cot A is four by three. So you have got one uh, relationship. You can find all the other ratio and you have to check. So first of all, find how much is tan A, then cos A, sin A, and then put in the left hand side and right hand side and check you are getting equal or not. Understood? And uh, ninth question, also, you can try. Anyway, we will be doing it in the next class. All right, now you can leave all of you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Myra, are you here? Just stay for one minute.